So as everybody saw today, there was a lot of buzz about the Insta360 GO 3S. Offers 4K. But did you know that there's a new firmware for the GO 3? That's right. So I usually check firmwares about once a week. And I just checked firmware the other day. And there was nothing for the Insta360 GO 3 or for the Ace Pro or for the Ace or for the X4 or the X3. But today I figured, well, you know, they released the GO 3S. Is there a new firmware? And there is. Now, they took away something, but they added something. So that whole jitter-free compensation that is on the 3S is now on the GO 3. Now, yes, the GO 3 only shoots 2.7K, 30 frames per second. And what they took away was the low light stabilization. Now, I don't know if that's going to have an effect on the GO 3 in low light or not because it's not dark yet outside. But I will be doing a test with it, but I will say one thing that is a difference because right now I did the update on the white version of the GO 3, not the black version, because I wanted to see if there was a difference. And the first difference that I noticed was the audio. The audio actually sounded better with the new firmware. So that's something to keep in mind. I'll do some testing on low light to see if that jitter free actually helps a little bit or not. Oh, by the way, they did add something else. They now have battery indication. So what I mean by that is if you touch on the ActionPod touchscreen where the battery is, it tells you how much battery is in the pod itself, the outside housing, and how much is in the Go3 camera itself. So it's a numeric value. It tells you if it's 100%, 50%, 60%, kind of get the idea. But anyway, I just want to let you know, if you've got the Insta360 Go3, not the 3S, but the Go3, there is a new firmware for it.